What is up guys, PhD here and today I've got a FIFA 14 attacking corners tutorial. So guys, it would be great if you could remember to drop a like rating on this video and give some uh, support. Um, the demo has just come out so this is what I'm able to show you. We can go into it now, it's going to be the first one which is the in-swinging cross. So you can see where the ball is aimed to go, I'm aiming it as far to the right as possible. So uh, once the ball is struck, you see what how much power put on in a second. But once the ball is struck, you would move your left analog stick as far left as possible. You'd preferably be wanting someone that's got a good curve, I'd say about 75, 80 plus, which would um, help a lot more just curving the ball in, able to score. And it really draws, kind of draws out the keeper, it makes him run out, but then kind of stop. So, but the amount of um, power you'd put on it is about two and a half, three bars around that mark. There isn't a specific one at the moment because they all seem to come in. They all seem to do pretty well attacking, hitting the post, going in all over the show. But that's the example I've shown you there. It's about two and a bit to two and a half to three around that sort of area. And what happens when you whip the ball in is the keeper kind of comes out a bit, but then your player's already running onto the ball, attacking the ball, and headers it in. So it's quite simple. You can see the rest of this, how it goes. Now, it swings it in. The keeper's kind of come out a bit, but your player's already attacking it. He kind of just stops, and that's how he, he leaves it, to be honest with you. Um, easy nice goal by Thiago Silva there in his PSG kit and nice little celebration. It's nice to see on the FIFA 14. You can see from the angle how the keeper does move a little bit and the just the general attacking of the ball. There's a couple of examples of him swinging out. The keeper in that one doesn't move but because the ball's come in the opposite direction to the way it normally would, normally it just goes a straight line and then your player runs onto it. Because it's coming the opposite way you're able to generate a lot more power and force onto the header. There is was one more final um, example for this one, and even again, it was that one was quite a deep uh, little corner out, but and that's a nice little celebration. But that was a, quite a deep corner uh, sent into the box. But even so, it was managed to make enough power on the header to just kind of like slot it in. Now this one is a different one. It is just the straight forward. I aim for the little square box on the corner there, the six yard box. And what you'll be doing after you've put the bar of power on, which you'll see in a second, you, on your left analog stick, you put that holding it straight up while putting the power on. Um, you see in a second, but that kind of, kind of, I'm not sure what it does, but it seems to be incredibly effective. Not sure if it kind of makes the ball dip more, as it, just as it goes in, it makes the ball dip down, which is kind of, is a disadvantage to the goalkeeper, but it helps an awful lot. You can see there, it's kind of similar to how much power I was putting on to the other one, it's about three to four bars. Um, it's rather simple, it's incredibly easy, but as I was saying a second ago, it makes the ball dip down and then the keeper's kind of like not judged it properly, it's more it's more towards a player's head than it is towards a, like a goalkeeper catching it and it's been quite easy to score corners in these two ways that I've done while I've been playing it today. So um, you'll be able to see now this how the ball goes in, it doesn't even need a specific player to take one of these corners. Uh, I've not really. I've just been using anyone. It works nice and fine. You can see the keeper comes out, but he can't do anything because uh, Saka, I think it is, is kind of just kind of attacked it. It's a slightly like the other one, to be honest with you. It's just dipped nicely onto his head, and there's nothing really the keeper can kind of do. It's just perfectly positioned. Uh, we've got a couple more examples now. This one is with Royce taking it. I do four bars of power. You can almost see it sort of swerve there as that come in. It was kind of like left to right swerving. Keeper comes out, but again, the player's able to, because it's dipping as it goes, um, it works perfectly for him in the end. I think there's just the one more example that I am able to show you after this one. You see, you can definitely see some movement in the ball there, and a lovely little headed finish. Rubinho is able to take the final corner. It's just, again, just aiming it at the edge of that six-yard box. Uh, this time it lands there, but it's because the keepers have to move around, because it's managed to go through that six-yard box, made it incredibly simple for him in the end. So guys, that is going to be it from me. I do hope you have enjoyed this tutorial. Do remember to drop a like, do remember to subscribe, and let me know if you want any more tutorials in the description below. So thank you guys, and bye-bye.